Hey everyone, I hope you're having a beautiful day. Um, today, I'd like to give you an update on Opal. I'm not sure if you remember Opal. It's been a while. It's been about four months. This is Opal. She was the all, the albino German Shepherd that I met at the shelter about four or five months ago. Um, and the reason why you haven't seen her, it's been a really, really long process to get her comfortable um, being on a leash. I would say out of all the dogs we've ever taken in, and I said this about Ray, and she was more challenging than, than Ray was. Luckily, uh, we have a place we use called Sweet Dog Days. Um, this really amazing woman named Lisa, she runs the place and owns the place. And she put in, she helped us out a lot because sometimes when we take in a dog with the kind of anxiety that Opal has, which is just a whole nother level, when we take in a dog, sometimes starting them off a little bit slower with the pack away from the sanctuary in a more quiet environment is the best plan. And that's what we did with Opal. That's where Sweet Dog Days came in and helped us out. She got a lot of one-on-one -on -one training there. And then we brought our dogs there and integrated her in the pack there. Not all of them, but some of them. And then brought them all the way back here. And after doing that and giving Opal some time, she's really come out of her shell. She's doing amazing. And this is definitely uh, a sanctuary dog. What I mean by that is um, she's not a dog that would do well in a in a home. She just really has this, she just really doesn't trust people. She'll let me pet her, but she's so scared that I don't really pet her often because quite frankly, she just doesn't want to be pet. All of her comfort comes from the animals. All of her comfort comes from the dogs. Whatever she has been through, it was unfortunately traumatic enough to where she, she just does not want human affection or really any attention. Even looking at her for too long, it makes her a little bit nervous and uh, she'll tend to retreat. So she's a sanctuary dog, but she's very happy. She's definitely in her element here. Now that she knows no one here or no one anywhere is ever gonna hurt her again, she is way more uh, willing to enjoy life. But it's really the dogs. She's so obsessed with the dogs, all of them, small dogs, medium dogs, the Huskies, you name it. The fact that she's getting this close to me is really fantastic. Like I cannot tell you, you could tell at this very moment, she's not very far from me. You can see from my hand to her, she's not far, but she's not scared. And that is a huge milestone. When we first got her, man, she was so petrified. I, I've never seen a dog just so afraid of everything, even the dogs, even the dogs would stress her out. Um, look, she's getting even closer, but it's really the dog. Now, unfortunately, if I just take a couple steps towards her, you see, she'll, she'll back away. And she doesn't just take a few steps back, she full on retreats. And there, there's not really many people that could even get as close as I did to her. So it's, it, it, it kind of sucks but every dog has their story. Every dog is different in their own way. And what's beautiful is, although she's making progress, we don't know what's gonna happen in a couple years. Maybe in a couple years, it only took Ray a few months. After four or five months, Ray doesn't leave my side. This is Ray here. If you don't know who Ray is, Ray came in, very similar story. She didn't want anyone touching her. She was, extremely high anxiety, very stressed out, uh, aggressive in some ways towards dogs is what the previous person said. I don't think that part is true, but um, the good thing about Opal, there's no aggression. And that that's what it takes, you know, for the dogs that we can't integrate into the pack are the ones that no matter what we try end up being really aggressive, especially if they're aggressive towards the dogs and of course towards people, staff, things like that. Those are the dogs 
we'll try a couple times, but we can't put the pack's safety at risk solely because the pack can get that pack mentality. And if there's a fight, they're all gonna be on top of that one dog and it could be horrific. So we have to be very careful about that. But luckily with Opal's situation, it's just anxiety towards people. There's no aggression whatsoever. And most importantly, guys, she's happy. And that's, that's my outcome with these dogs. It's not to be able to cuddle each and every one of them. It's not so each dog falls in love with me. My outcome is their health, safety, and happiness. And, um, and uh, as I say, I know it looked like I just lost my thought. I didn't lose my train of thought. I just had a uh, flashback for some reason of um, a lot of dogs that we couldn't help. And that always, um, that always makes me really sad. But uh, focusing on the good thing, o Opal is happy. And, um, and you know, it's, it's only been six months. Who knows what can happen in another six months. So uh, thank you guys. Thank you to Lisa and the entire staff at Sweet Dog Days for helping us with her. Um, we love you guys and I hope you all have a beautiful day. Thanks for watching. What I'm gonna do is if you haven't seen her rescue video, I'm going to attach that video to this one. So if you keep watching, you can watch Opal's rescue video. It's attached to this one, okay? Thanks, love you, bye. Today is rescue day. We are at the Regional Animal Services of King County. They reached out to us about a German Shepherd who is going to get euthanized. She is just extremely terrified of people. She won't let anyone next to her. So I'm here to meet her. And whether she likes me or not, we're gonna bring her back to the sanctuary. Hey. Will you pass me the leash, please? Yeah. Thank you. you. You can tell, guys, she's really nervous. Very, very nervous now.
Marco? Hey guys, we just made a quick stop on the way home. It's about a four hour drive and we're halfway through. So we stopped at this really pretty park. Just gonna let her potty real quick. Oh, perfect timing. She's making a poo. It's perfect. The car was getting a little stinky, so that makes a lot of sense. All right, so I'm gonna pick this up and then uh, head back. We'll be back at the sanctuary in about two hours if we do not hit traffic.